Hello everybody, welcome to another presentation of our life-changing work here at London Dental Specialists. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video because this is how the YouTube algorithm recommends it to other people and also follow us at London Dental Specialists on Instagram and Facebook. So let's get into today's presentation. It is about a 60-year-old lady referred to me by my excellent network of dental hygienists in central London. She referred her to me because she noticed a significant amount of bleeding from this tooth, the last tooth on the lower left here. The other thing I want you to please just pay attention to here is that you can see the gum in the front here. The gum here is nice and pink. But if you look at the last two teeth there, the gum there looks red. It looks red because in our mouths, there are two types of gums. The gum around teeth, which is nice and pink, that's what this is here. And the other type of gum, which is the gum in our cheek, which has a lot more blood in it, and that's why it appears so red. The problem with this cheek type gum we also call it non-keratinized gum, is that it's actually really, really difficult to keep it clean. As you can imagine, if you took a toothbrush and put it into your cheek, it would really hurt when you'd use a toothbrush against your cheek. However, if you use a toothbrush around a tooth that has the pink keratinized gum, there are no consequences whatsoever. And that's the first thing. The next thing I want you to have a look at, please, is the x-ray that I took when the young lady came to see me. This is the x-ray of the last tooth in the lower left. And as you can see, this penultimate tooth on the lower left is also a dental implant, but that's not the tooth in question. The last tooth on the lower left, I have drawn the area of bone loss in red, and you can immediately see that she has lost somewhere between 60 and 70% of the bone around that dental implant. So at this stage, we usually have two options. It's either a non-surgical option using airflow that you may or may not have heard of, or perhaps gum surgery to try and put some of this bone back, or a complete removal of the dental implant, bone graft, new gum, and new dental implant. The first option, non-surgical, scientific evidence is very clear that this option doesn't really work in general. The second option, gum surgery to try and replace some of the bone that you've lost there can work but the success rate is about 65 to 70 percent the reason for that is that dental implants are notoriously difficult to clean after the surface has been colonized by bacteria and then the third option which is the most predictable option but the option that takes the longest period of time involves the removal of the dental implant period of healing before a bone graft, and then a gum graft and dental implant before a new tooth is done. My patient wanted a highly, highly predictable option, so she chose the third option, and let's have a look at the fantastic results. Remember, that's where she started, gum looking red and really soft around the tooth, and look at the final result. The first thing that I want you to have a look at is that the pink gum further forward has now come all the way back around the dental implant and that shows you that my gum graft has been highly successful. Look at the x-ray that was taken afterwards, look at the x-ray that was taken beforehand, you can immediately see that this new dental implant on the right side of the screen has a lot more bone than the dental implant on the left side of the screen. Interestingly, if you also look at the penultimate tooth, the implant for that tooth was placed by a colleague of mine years before. You can see that the gum around this penultimate tooth after my gum graft is actually much better because in addition to my new implant, I thought it would be quite nice to try and improve the outcome, the life really, of the old dental implant that could be salvaged. In our practice, this took the best part of a year because of the different stages of treatment, but it's highly predictable if it is done carefully and slowly. At London Dental Specialists, all dental implants come with a 10-year warranty, subject to very simple terms and conditions, and because of the amount of work that was required here, the cost of treatment was five and a half thousand pounds. 
But with a 10-year warranty, I'm sure you can see that I am highly confident of the long-term benefit to this particular patient. So, you will be aware that implant disease is on the increase these days. So if you would like to get an equally fabulous result, why not pick up the phone, get your dentist to refer you, or complete the form around this video, and one of the team will contact you as soon as possible. Please remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that more and more people can hear about this kind of content and also for you to be alerted for new videos on more interesting cases at London Dental Specialists. Thank you very much.